So hello everybody. Today um, I want to make a special review of uh, a special ROM. Not really special, basic, but uh, yeah, it's a review of a nightly, which is not a stable build, if we can say. Uh, so this is the official nightly from Cyanogen mode, which is for the Galaxy S3 i9 the international version so uh, this review I'll just explain you very fast what is this review about so um, yeah uh, Cyanogen mod the official team just passed CN12.1 which is Android 5.1.1 for the access 3 and they started the nightlies with uh, 100 marshmallow as you can see which is Android 6.0.1 which is CM14 Point oh. uh, so this one is a nightly which I used before and I think is the most stable I'll show you so we have the marshmallow game as you can see so okay uh, go on this is the nightly this is the version two th um, the 26th of last month I mean I think March 2016 uh, yeah so you maybe it will be a bit older the security patch will be 1st March instead of 2 April. Uh, the API will be Elderberry 5 instead of 6. So that's it. You've got the official updates. Uh, as you can see, I've got a lot of updates to do. But yeah, the latest one, they're not, very, not stable. I just told you that. Not stable. 27, 28, 29, not stable. Uh, if you're on the new one, maybe 21 is the best, but still have the lock screen glitch. So yeah, 26 uh, is the most stable. 31 of eight of March was stable as well, but I found some camera error with that one and some Bluetooth error. So I use 26, and I've never had any random random reboot and other issues. Uh, sometimes I got random reboot because my this one is stuck and I didn't I think it's it's loose and I didn't fix it yet so that's why I got some reboot not because of the system so NFC is working on that one uh, display and light you do have the advanced display back on that one which get you have new negative mode which invert the colors uh, the scenario the mode uh, buttons you've got basic uh, from CM12.1 what you don't have is the um, navbar on screen buttons uh, battery life now you do have those modes so you have pretty good battery life as you can see I've got 81% uh, I've got yeah good time average we've got battery optimization with those I don't optimize the game because I want them to perform well so yeah that's why you can see and the google play service they cannot be optimized that sucks but that's the life you cannot optimize them uh, so that's all you can see what is running behind new thing is memory so you can see the memory you have used the last 3 hours 6 12 or maybe the last day uh, security so you manage every security stuff right here screen pinning uh, home you choose your home screen you have the stock trebuchet status bar is the manage the icon the notification account quick pull down which i put on the right uh, yeah uh, google account will be the google setting will be directly here instead of uh, in the app drawer uh, storage in usb you can set the internal storage the external storage as an internal but i don't do since uh, no need I mean for me uh, you've got about so yeah developer option you've got basic CM14 advanced reboot stuff same from CM12.1 you do have the um, multi window mode which is still experimental so yeah the performance of that build from Marsh will not be as fast and smooth as the build from April I've tested build of 21 and the performance are way faster than this one for sure uh, even this one is it's pretty smooth okay but yeah 
so edit you can edit the ties the quick sixteen the re from here uh, you got show brand a slider river and large first two row you can add ties from here and just click it and just rearrange them like this so this is good features which yeah it's easy then you don't have to go to settings and whatever you just drag it down it ties and that's done uh, weather provider you do have to use open with a map to get the weather to work because yahoo is not working anymore due to an api change uh, camera so this is the new cm14 camera uh, i think they call it the snap camera you've got a lot more options than cm12.1 camera you've got flash mode uh, the location the pitch size the quality of the picture you can change right here uh, you've got counter timer storage location iso exposure white balance power shutter uh, power shutter is very useful i'll show you just click the power button and you got a pick i like it uh, you've got panorama which is working already tried once uh, video is working fine i'll just show you very quickly when you just take a video and what is great with cm14 you just tap and you get a picture of what you take a video of and what is good though is this icon you just tap and you have the video and the pictures that you have taken uh, in cm12 phone you have to swipe from the right to the left and you can delete you can delete from here uh, let's see the video video are working fine on that one no lags no bad stuff uh, in the nightly of 20 I think 27 there is some since 26 there is some slight lag uh, you can even trim the video this is some new FX panorama mode is working uh, I think I need to show you but let's try you have to be very slow actually Otherwise, everything will be messed up. Actually, I think I'm out of frame. Uh, so we have to wait. It does render the panorama. Yeah, I've, I've messed up at that point. So let's see the panorama picture. I'm gonna allow auto rotation. Yeah, this does work. So yeah, you can have way better yeah I'm not the best uh, photographer so my panorama is not very great uh, so yeah this is panorama you can also set the, the quality of the panorama picture uh, I think this is in I don't, I don't remember where this uh, is it, but yeah then you have you do have effects and some that are not showing up uh, since it's an ID uh, front facing camera working fine uh, you do have mo modes uh, action mode ba backlight candle light does down high sensitivity night mode very great uh, play store is working fine I've flashed the latest G apps I think it's the 27th of April yeah this does work fine uh, gallery does fine clock is working fine I set the alarm this does work a calculator which you what you don't have that was in CM12.1 is you don't you cannot swipe scroll down to see your old calculation messaging I use uh, the, the messenger from Google since they they changed the color from green to purple and that's a shame even if they gave a uh, good option so this is a stock browser let's uh, let's see the change log of the our device of the latest nightly are they gonna change some stuff since today today is the 29th i test the 29 build and just don't don't flash it this is not working just believe me i've tried it if you want a stable build for april just go to the 21 i think it's the best uh, new than that you'll have a lot of issues uh, videos on youtube are working let me show might be a little bit slow because as i told you the performance are not as fast as the build of april uh, so this is working great uh, games performance is good location i just let 
we've got flashlight working uh, compass is working well uh, you've got a new mode which is caffeine mode it's uh, for ex example this the you set the screen time out to two minutes and you're watching a video which is maybe 10 minutes or more and you don't want to go to settings and set the screen time out you just click on that one 10 minutes 40 minutes so it's gonna be on for 40 minutes and you don't have to do anything you won't uh, switch down and then when you click again and just shut down that's good uh, so let me yeah, let's see Google Maps is working uh, when you do install the ROM uh, make sure you so will it know yes I'm at my home and this does work multitasking is yeah a bit laggy in my opinion for me but I think oh, it's okay there let's see if how does it reload no it does not reload like in CM 12.1 let's go back to the map will Google nope Google map reload the browser will reload I think nope oh my god so this is okay this is great the browser does not reload the camera will reload for sure yeah just a bit quicker than CM 12.1 in in RAM management uh, but CM 12.1 is maybe a little bit more smooth so themes the theme I kind of change and that's I just have Android N themes it's free so you get the Android N boot animation every stuff like Android N the phone is working phone calls are working you don't have this lag anymore uh, so let's go off Wi-Fi now and connect to 3G which is working on that build Bluetooth is working so 3G connection and connect uh, yeah the connection is not good in Thailand so it's gonna be H plus and sometimes 3G and working fine great okay so you just turn on uh, oops I am a modern me that I use it oh my girlfriend just yeah, so that's all for that ROM uh, I'll, I'll make a description how to flash install that ROM and a link to that ROM since it's not in the CM official CM website anymore and yeah this is the best uh, daily driver if you want a CM 14.0 experience and uh, Android Marshmallow experience that's all uh, thank you for that and thank you CM for that ROM and I'll let you know if there is more new stable build and I'll make a review of that.